everyone, I'm Mel Targaryen. You may know me from TikTok, but today we're trying something different here out on YouTube. The editing is going to be questionable, but the information in this video will hopefully answer a lot of questions that you have, because today we are exposing Hybe, or rather, we're making sure that everyone knows all the facts about their new platform, Momentica. In early October 2022, Hybe announced that they would be launching the Momentica platform, but you may still be asking to yourself, what is Momentica exactly? Momentica is a platform under Levels Inc., which is a joint venture between Hybe and the cryptocurrency company Dunamu. This partnership between Hybe and Dunamu was originally announced during the Hybe community briefing on November 3rd, 2021. The platform boasts being able to collect digital moments from your favorite groups by collecting what they call a take. TXT, Seventeen, and Hypen, Le Seraphim, and Fromis9 will be the first groups to launch on this platform, but it is speculated that other Hybe artists will follow. But what exactly is a take? Take is one of three terms that is trademarked by Levels Inc. according to the Kipris database. On the surface, the website seems to imply that a take is simply a digital item with a unique code to verify its authenticity. However, if you look deeper into the terms of service, you'll note that a take is actually an NFT. However, right now, Outside of the terms of service, there is no other mention of the word NFT on the Momentica website, which has led many to speculate that Hybe and Dunamu trademarked the word take through Levels Inc. to avoid saying NFT on the site as much as possible. But what exactly is an NFT and why would they want to separate Momentica from that word so much? An NFT is what is known as a non-fungible token, and the concept of NFTs can be very complex and confusing and nuanced, so I'm going to try and explain it as best I can in plain English. So to try and explain it, let's start with something that we all understand as K-pop fans. A photo card. This is my Woozy photo card. It's my favorite one. Now for this example, let's pretend that this is the only one of this Woozy photo card in the entire world and I own it. Now, since I own it, I can do whatever I want with it. I could put it in my phone case, put it in a photo album. I could even burn it if I want to, but who would want to do that? Who? I could also sell it or I could reproduce it. But at the end of the day, only I have the original and only I have the right to do whatever I want with this photo card and this image. Now an NFT is like a digital version of that. Now I have a digital version of the photo card. And the way that people would know that only I own this unique photo card is that when I purchased it, it was minted with a unique code that would verify when I purchased it and that I was the one that purchased it and owned it and can do what I want with it. Then what happens to the NFT after is up to me. I could keep it, I could sell it, I could forget about it, but at the end of the day, I would own it and only I would be the one with the rights to it. Now, the issue with NFTs is actually the technology that creates that unique code. That technology is called blockchain technology. Blockchain technology uses a lot of energy, which creates carbon emissions, which are bad for the environment. Now, how much energy an NFT uses really can vary based on how the NFT is made. Some NFTs only take about the same amount of energy as watching a three hour YouTube video, but other NFTs can take up as much energy as it would need to power a house for 45 days. So because of how bad NFTs are for the environment, Back in 2021, when the partnership between Hybe and Dunamu was announced, people were understandably upset, specifically BTS ARMY. In the initial announcement of the partnership, BTS was included in the video reels that were shown during the announcement. You can also see Bang PD was holding a stack of photo cards, which had Namjoon's photo card on top when he was explaining the concept of NFTs. This actually led to BTS ARMY trending the hashtag ARMY against NFTs, and it led to many news outlets covering the story, including the Wall Street Journal, who I personally spoke to during this time. 
Haim did eventually respond to the fans' criticism about them releasing NFTs, but the response was basically that they had not yet announced what products they would be releasing with the company Dunamu under the joint venture. Now that the Momentica platform has been announced, we can clearly see that they are selling NFTs, or as they call them, takes. But also we can see that BTS is notably absent from the site's initial launch. Some speculate that this may be a tactic to avoid the attention of BTS ARMY during the site's initial launch and that they will eventually add BTS to the platform, but others speculate that BTS will not be joining at all. While the initial announcement back in 2021 did seem to make it clear that BTS would eventually be involved in some way, we really have no way of 100% knowing until they announce something. This is also not the only K-pop company that has recently gotten into the NFT market. The same week that Momentica was announced, SM Entertainment announced that Espo will be selling NFTs through the Sotheby's auction house. Both of these announcements have led to fans voicing their concerns about K-pop companies getting into NFTs, and many are now using the hashtag StopKpopNFTs. At this point, it also seems like other K-pop companies will eventually get on board and start selling NFTs for their groups as well if more K-pop fans don't speak up about the issues with NFTs. In my personal opinion, NFTs are just another money grab, and they are bad for the environment. While Hive's Momentigo website boasts a sustainable blockchain that offers climate-friendly technology to reduce carbon emissions, many people, including myself, see that as greenwashing to make the NFTs look more environmentally friendly than they actually are. Additionally, trademarking the word take to avoid using the word NFT has been widely criticized. Many people who have signed up for the Momentica platform has stated that because of the use of the word take instead of the word NFT, they were completely unaware that the platform was actually offering NFTs. Personally, I'm against NFTs and I'm against K-pop getting into NFTs. But now that you know all the facts, what do you think about this situation? Comment below with your feelings and thoughts on the situation. Make sure to like and subscribe for more and thanks for watching.